guys, welcome back to my channel here on YouTube, Kathy's World, and I'm glad you're here with me today. I'm going to be unboxing a box that I have gotten in the past. I did cancel it, not because I didn't love it, but because I was getting too many subscription boxes. But I did reorder because my grandkids just love these books. And this is Outpost Books. And it's $31.66 a month. You have choices as per age, too. You can get a box for 0 to 3 years old. You can get from 4 to 7 or 8 to 11. And I'm getting the 4 to 7 because Maggie is 3 and Caleb is 8. So kind of in between. All right, let's take a look. This is... I have gotten so many great books from this box in the past. They're usually beautiful books. All right, so we have some confetti. Looks like construction paper confetti. Outpost book, September subscription. The first book we have is I Am the Mountain Mouse. I Am the Mountain Mouse. Looks cute. Got some fun illustrations inside. Eye-catching slapstick foray into the worrisome night will light up the room with smiles. A heartwarming reminder of how children learn to trust. Dialogue rich narrative complements sunny visuals, making this an excellent choice for one-on-one -on -one or group read-alouds. Well, that should be a fun book. Let me set that aside. You usually get three books. Miss Brooks Story Nook. Can a made-up ogre defeat a real-life bully? Never underestimate the power of a good story. Where tales are told and ogres are welcome. Oh, this looks really cute. Billy Tommy is an itch, a thorn in Missy's side. Annoying. When she passes his house on the way to Miss Brooks' story hour, he always tries to steal her hat and jeers, I'm going to get you. It's vexing. Then one rainy and hatless day, Miss Brooks changes her story hour to storytelling hour. She teaches the kids about characters and plot and action and satisfying conclusions and encourages them to make up their own tales. And that's when Missy has a brainstorm. She sees a way she might use her made up story to change the course of her real life story with Billy. It's a plot twist sure to result in a much more satisfying conclusion. In this terrifically funny follow-up to Miss Brooks Loves Books, and I don't, Barbara Potner and Michael Amberley celebrate the power of stories and how they can help us rewrite our own lives. Got some fun illustrations inside, too. There appears to be a snake and kids yelling and laughing, and I think they're having a good time. So that'll be fun to read. And the last book. The Sword in the Stove by Frank W. Dormer. Someone has put a sword in the stove. Was it Eni? Was it Mimi? Was it Harold? Who would put a sword in the stove? Well, I guess we'll find out when we read this book. Aardvarks. No, it can't be aardvarks. And howling aardvarks. That's worse. Okay, tell me. I can take it. And here's a picture of a very distraught man with a sword. So this book should be interesting. All right, that is it. They usually put a little gift in, something the kids can build or play with. And here's a little gift. And that is it for the Outpost unboxing. I can't wait to read these with my grandchildren. It's always a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me for my unboxing, and I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.